is a huge buzzword here in Idaho Falls. Just recently, we announced that we are gonna build out the Idaho Falls fiber network to the entire city to provide residents the opportunity to connect to the world's fastest internet. We are really excited about it. We know people are excited about it because every week we get questions asking, when is it coming to my house? Well, to kind of help answer that question and to help answer or to give you at least an inside look at exactly what's happening with the fiber build out. We have met up with Rory Cullen and his crew that are working on a rotting project in one of our neighborhoods to bring fiber to the residents. I am a lineman with the city of Idle Falls and I'm with the fiber department uh, for the next few years because we're actually going through existing primary conduits and existing uh, secondary conduits to lessen the cost for fiber to the home. To utilize already existing electrical infrastructure to lay the fiber conduit, Rory and his crew are using a rotting machine. It was generally built to go through empty pipe and uh, retrieve uh, string or, or tape. But now we're using it with an existing primary cable conduit. The machine makes it easier for the crew to install the fiber conduit by chasing the already existing electrical conduit from transformer to transformer. When we extend around the corner to people's houses, we don't have to bore underground or we don't have to trench up their yards. We can use existing conduit. Great concept that they came up with and it's working. So right now our crew is going around putting in tubing, uh, two or three different sizes from transformer to transformer, transformer to secondary PEDs. Throughout this summer, Rory and his crew will lay tens of thousands of feet of conduit as part of the Fiber to the Home project. This project is the perfect example of how electric and fiber crews are working together on the Fiber to the Home project. Because of the fact that they are pulling conduit through transformers, a trained and knowledgeable lineman is an essential part of this project to keep everyone safe. Of course, like any project, not everything can be done with the machine. This crew does have to exhibit some good old-fashioned elbow grease. We're hand pushing around in, uh, the corner because sometimes the machine doesn't have the capability of pushing through that. Once we break through that, then it'll do the rest of the way. There we go, we got around the corner. Now the machine will should push it the next 200 feet. Once to the other side, Brandon opens up the transformer in preparation to attach the rotter to the conduit to be pulled back through the transformer to the other side. Like he was saying, we've already got some of these done. So trying to hit the last part of this neighborhood right now, getting the ones that are a little bit smaller. Some of these conduits are two inch and some of them are two and a half. So the ones that are Two and a half go a lot easier, so these are the last ones that we're just trying to finish up before we move on to the next neighborhood. With the conduit laid, fiber crews can now come back at a later date and actually pull the fiber string through the conduit in preparation to connect people to the network. Not everything is smooth sailing with this project. When you can't always see what is happening under the ground, there are bound to be a few hiccups. You know, this is probably our third development that we've been doing, third or fourth actually. And generally we've had pretty good luck. Sometimes we find some broken pipe in the existing conduit. And uh, we had a little trouble today, getting our, even just getting our rotting, the rod back without anything attached to it. We're just trying to save it. So we eventually had to send it back through, cut the brass piece off and get it out. So yeah, there are some hiccups along the way, but for uh, most part, I'd say about 95% of the time we're having success on all these conduits. Every now and then we'll have to do something different to get the tubing in or, or section out a section, but uh, so far it's working pretty good. I hope that you enjoyed this inside look, or at least got an idea of what's happening with the build out for the Idaho Falls Fiber Network. As you can see, it takes time and there's so much going on, but don't worry, we are working diligently. And over the next few years, we promise to bring you the world's fastest internet.